Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Rich Wildman here. Glad to have you along for the ride today. Another MSI is on the air. I'm going to have to do something about this. My CPU usage is going through the roof. I have no idea why. The only thing I can suspect it might be is the fact that there's so much great music on the show today, or maybe not, that everything's just confused, like me. It's just kind of the way it goes. All right, we're glad you're with us. We got three new songs we're putting in front of the panel today. And those songs they haven't heard, they won't hear until everyone else hears them, which is kind of the unique way we do things here on MSI. After that, they will offer up their uh, unbiased review and critique of those songs for everybody to hear after they've heard the song one time and one time only. We will then take and select a song of the week out of those songs that we've heard on the show today. I want to remind everybody that coming up next week is Daylight Saving Time here in the United States, which means we will be beginning one hour earlier in the U.S. until our uh, compadres over in the U.K. catch up with us, which happens on the 29th of the month. So it's going to be like three weeks of uh, one hour earlier here in the U.S., and then they'll catch up and we'll be back to our regular time after that. So it's all good from that perspective as well. Now I want to take and go over and introduce everyone who's on the panel this week. So let's meet them right now. Starting out in London, England, our very good friend Ian Husbands. Hey Ian, how are you? One, I'm impressed that you remember the daylight saving hours. That normally causes great grief. As we scramble around on show night going, what time do we start? When is it? Yeah, I know. I kind of got know. proactive a little bit. So don't expect it to last. I'm sure I'll forget when we go back to uh, standard time. No, I'll, I'll give you credit for that one. That's good. Secondly, I'm not the only guest from England today, Richard. We're all from England. Yeah. I... And your mic's, your mic's gone as well. I told you it was going to happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, why Rich sorts his mic out, because uh, he's got a problem with it, and I told him it it's was going to happen. It's strange. I don't no, it's know not, why it's I, okay. It's not strange. I said to you it was going to happen. I think you maybe should it, do it after the show. I think maybe it has to do with uh, the, uh, the amount of snow we've gotten and the fact that uh, I like to pour snow all over my electronic equipment before a show starts. I thought it was, no, I was going to say something about putting the snow up your nose, but that's another conversation for another yeah, time. Different time. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you okay now? You, you're back No, with us? You, you said you had an announcement to make, so go ahead. I'll let you do so. No, I, I don't have an announcement to make as such, except uh, I was going to point people to go and uh, make sure you catch up on Pinky's weekly cleanup, ladies and gentlemen. Pinky is the uh, MSI janitor. And every week after the show, he cleans up and uh, gives us his view of the show and uh, the music that was on it last week. So, it, It's only a view you can get from Pinky because uh, he's the one who writes it. So it's special that way. That's right. But he does do a good job of cleaning the toilets. <laughs> That's true, too. Spill on aisle three. All right, uh, Ian, you have some statistics for us from last week's broadcast. On last week's broadcast, for those who might have forgotten or haven't had the chance to see it, go see it first on our website on YouTube. Uh, you can get it through iTunes, anywhere that finer podcasts are found. Uh, we had uh, the Martins and their track Nucleus on with Shrunken Heads and their track Home Run, which, believe it or not, is a country kind of song. It's very really cool. And uh, Torelli and Fuse with their track Save Me, which was the song of the week. So, Ian, how did the witness statements go for last week? It was a bit mixed up, but generally our audience did agree with us uh, that with Save Me by Torelli and Fuse was the best song of the week. With 75% on songwriting, 75% on performance, but only 50% on mix and production. Really? So that's kind of interesting. Now, I'm getting told that the, uh, that uh, let's see, viewing channels are dropping and radio is distorted. I see that, mm -hmm. the, I see that the video is dropping. I do not know why the uh, 
radio channels are distorting those. So let me take a quick gander at this, and we'll see if we can sort this out for everybody. I'm going to take a look at the input. Microphone input is correct. Okay, let me take a look at some volume levels here, and uh, we'll see what we've got going on. All right, uh, yeah, it looks very hot there. That's not cool. That is not cool. So let me turn. No wonder it's 100%. That should never be that high. Maybe it's because I rebooted things that uh, it's all so high. So hopefully that's a little bit better now that I've straightened that out. Let's go south. Not south of where I'm at, but south of where Ian is at. And meet James Anderson again. James, how you doing, my friend? I'm well, thank you, Rich. How's everything with you? It's good. It's good. It's a little bit snowy today. I mean, uh, I woke up uh, six inches, seven inches of snow on the ground, something like that. Went out, shoveled it all off. It started snowing again. Hasn't quit. Well, I think that spring's beginning to arrive here, so I'm quite pleased about that. I'm sure things are very similar where, where Ian is, just 50 miles or so north of me. Well, you and, know... Uh, it, it's good that spring has sprung. I uh, I just hope that uh, you guys don't get flooded again. Yeah, well, that that was not cool. And uh, how, how are the levels? Have they rectified yet? Or are we still distorting? No, I think we got them pretty much under control. I've looked at them. I've turned everything down again. So I'm hoping that the guys, uh, Box of Crap out in the uh, chat room is saying the radio sounds good now. And, good. uh I don't know about the video. Video was solid for the first hour of the pre-broadcast, and then now, you know, it's it's gone. It's always the way. Yeah, it always it's, goes pear shaped as soon as you run a broadcast. But yeah, well, I'm sure I, things we, will, will improve. And we're recording it. We're recording it, so you'll be able to, you know, if you miss anything on the video, you can check it out after the fact. And uh, if you want to listen, oh, I think your mic's going to get in there. Yeah. My mic is uh, having an issue, but uh, if you want to listen on the radio, you can do that as well and catch the whole thing, including the mic I think it's out. just going to be one of those weeks, so I've got an ear infection, your mic's not working, I'm wondering what else could possibly go wrong. Don't even say that. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't. I just like to tempt fate. Yeah, you are. You really are. I'm not, I'm not sure that that's the way to go, but uh, you know, give it a shot for all it's worth anyway, and that's all you can do. So uh, no more uh, hiding in uh, under, undisclosed locations for you? Well, not for the moment. Everything seems to have calmed down on that front. It's, it's yesterday's news, really, now. So I'm, I'm <laughs> safe to, to roam free. Oh, that's and, good. Uh, do what I do best. Well, I'm glad to hear that and glad you're back with us again this week. And uh, sitting over in our guest panelist she, uh, seat is a uh, friend of the broadcast. He's been around many times on the broadcast. We're happy to have him back every time he comes on. Professional guitarist and uh, all-around great-looking guy. I like the way he does his hair. It's a lot like mine, Mr. Lee Haggerty. Hey, Lee, how are you? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, and uh, thank you for complimenting what's left of my hair. Um, I think I think Ian should adopt the uh, MSI haircut as soon as possible. I think I, I, the punk rock wars were not fought so that you could have shoulder length hair in the 21st century. I think something something should be done. Something I, I be think done. you're right. I think we should talk to his better half and see if we can talk her into doing something about this, stepping in on our behalf. You boys are just jealous. It's the way forward, I tell you. <laughs> I agree no, with it's you. The way it's happening for me. No. It's been, but, been don't a get... hair recession. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it. me wrong. I mean, you know, well, I, but... I've got good austerity measures. <clears throat> but, you know, guys, you, you, you're just jealous. And let's face it, even punks had hair. Yeah, right. Whatever. Listen, I, I, I refer the right honourable <clears throat> gentleman to the answer I gave a few moments ago. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We need to have somebody do an intervention, uh, a hair intervention, if you will, and uh, bring Ian down a couple. Of, I mean, back to the real world. Jealousy right, will right. get you nowhere. <laughs> That's all right. She doesn't come into it. This is just this is uh, Ian. This is just common sense, mate. No, it's just that. 
Yeah, we're not we're not jealous. Anyway, uh, hello everybody. So it's good to see you, Lee. <laughs> now, As you can see, I always I was mixed well with people. I don't you know don't cause any trouble, do I? No, not not controversial <laughs> at all. Uh, now well, let no, me no, let no, me no, catch no. up with you. Uh, you've been away for a while. You haven't sure. been able to join us on the broadcast. Uh, I know you're a busy man. You've got a lot of things that have been going on during the pre-show. We talked about. Uh, about some of the things you have been working on and working towards, why don't yeah. you why don't you get us up to speed and tell us what's been going on and what's happening with you now? Okay, um, well the main thing for uh, Ruts DC at the moment, uh, we've only played one show this year. We played the Hundred Club in London in January, which was a, a, a real pleasure. It was one of the one of the best shows we've done. I think really enjoyable. Um, but we're having a little break from playing live at the moment because we're working on some new material. I know that always uh, tends to go for no one wants to hear us anymore, but we are actually working on some new material with the hope of doing a, uh, a new album this year. Um, but we've also been uh, doing a thing with Pledge Music uh, about uh, to, to put out the book that's been written about the band, which is going to be called Love in Vain, the story of the Ruts and Ruts DT. Um, so that's been taking place. I'm pleased to say that's uh, reached its target. So we can now do that, and we'll also hopefully have a bit of money to put towards doing this uh, new record. Now, is is pledge um, music so that's really exciting? Is is pledge music a uh, a crowdsourcing site where people can go and uh, contribute to uh, to to what you're doing with the Ruts DC in the publishing of this book? Is is that what yeah. it is? Yeah, I mean, I, I've had to learn a bit about this as well, given my uh, position as the Fred Flintstone of the panel that knows nothing about any sort of technology. I've had to learn a little bit about this. Um, yes, it's been going for a while now. Uh, Stiff Little Fingers did an album with it last year. I think the Buzz Cops did one. Uh, both very good albums. We were, we were advised to get in touch with them, and they were interested in working with us, which was great. And uh, as I say, it's, as you say, I think they call it crowdfunding, don't they, where you sort of pay um, towards towards the production of something and then get your copy and all that kind of thing of in this case a book as i say hopefully we're going to do a uh, an album later in the year as well so now, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's been very enlightening to do it uh, where where can people go to find out more about uh this campaign for ruts dc in the book yeah, well, you can find the Pledge Music site uh, on on uh, the internets, uh, as I believe George Bush likes to call it. Um, uh, I think if you just search for Pledge Music, it comes up, and there's all sorts of people on there. And you can find our our, our, our page, I think it is, and uh, learn all about what we're up to. There's videos on there from Dave and Seggs, uh, Dave Ruffy and Seggs Jennings, the other, the two founder members of the band, uh, sort of bringing people up to date with things that we're doing. There was one taken at the recording session that we did, and things like that. So you can find out all about it there and, and see what we're up to. Uh, and we're also about to put out a seven-inch single of uh, uh, an old Ruts song called Jar War, a re-recording of it, uh, which is hopefully going to be out in time for Record Store Day in, in, in April, um, which, uh, is, again, was an interesting thing to do one of the old songs and kind of rethink it a little bit. And hope, you know, maybe not bring it up to date. It might sound a bit pretentious, but uh, you know, to, sort of, to sort of try some different things with it. So the, the basic arrangement's the same, but there's a lot more going on sort of different instruments on it and a very different b-side a very odd mix of it on the b-side are you going to give us a, a hint at what we can expect on the b-side uh backward guitar a lot of backward guitar all right which all right. i'm a, a big fan of which uh yeah it's, it's, was, it's... It was a very interesting session okay all right so did you play the guitar backwards or is it nah you're not gonna you're not gonna tell no, me no no uh we we've <laughs> It's, you kind of you reverse the track to kind of play across the beat. It's a very uh, it involves a lot of swearing normally, <laughs> but uh, the, not by me, of course. Uh, oh yeah, uh, you know, to, to all the children listening out there, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything like that. But but some of the grown ups there were were, were doing that. But, um, I'd take it if it's, it's, uh, it's swearing it's turned out really well. I'd take it if it's swearing in reverse, it would be cuff cuff. <laughs> See, see again. You, 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 you've just brought the level down again, Ian. I don't know what you know. Yeah. I mean, really. It's the hair. It's got to be the hair. I think. I think it's you know. It's just. It's this is going to. This is this is going to run and run, as they say. Whatever <laughs> they are. All right. So, so what else anyway, do you I, have? I, what do you? I talk about myself for longer. Let's not talk about Ian. Let's talk about me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's what I want to get back to. I want to find out more about what's going on with you. Uh, during the pre-show, we talked a little bit about some possible things coming up for you. Uh, 
I don't know if I should let the cat out of the bag or I, I think I ought to let you do it. That way you're the one who gets in trouble and not me. So uh, a couple of things you got coming up possibly? Uh, the next Ruts, the next Ruts TC show is in Paris on Easter of, uh, on Good Friday. Very cool. Which is uh, uh, going to be kind of cool. Yeah, we're going, going over there to play. Are you uh, playing on top first, of the Eiffel first, Tower? Uh, I really hope so, but I fear we're not. <laughs> yeah, well. No, I think uh, I mean, yeah, we're playing in a club. No, we don't, when we say we're playing Paris, we're not playing in all of Paris, just in a club there. Um, so we're doing that. We've got some shows then sporadically towards the summer where we're doing some festivals. Uh, and then uh, hopefully some European shows in September, some British shows in October, and with a bit of luck, we may go to Australia and New Zealand in um, November. Wow, full year! Which is uh, which which would be fantastic. I've never been there, and, and uh, I'd love to do that. And uh, maybe doing some dates with the Levelers. So there's lots happening. Yeah, it um, it sounds like you get a lot. Of sales, so we want to try and record an album as well. We want to try and do some. So we want to try and put a new album together as well. So there's. There's plenty of things to keep us out of mischief, although we still manage to get into mischief as well. Well, if you're not you're not getting into trouble, you're not really living. That's, oh, sure. that's what uh, Ian tells well me said. anyway. Well Ian Ian said yes. that. He's got it on a t shirt or something, I don't know. That's the rules I live Probably, by. Yeah. <laughs> so all right. I'm not I'm not I'm not telling you you're wrong. So you, it sounds to me like you really just don't have a lot of free time on your hands with as much that you have going on right now. It's just kind of like your calendar's pretty um, full. You might have thought so, but I've managed to find other ways to 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 to, to overcommit myself to various projects. So uh, I'm playing with a band called Neck that I used to play with uh, about twelve or thirteen years ago, uh, and London Irish Psycho Cayley band. They feature my great friend Lisa O'Keefe. He used to play McGowan and the Popes. For a while, not Popes, the Popes, the band that Shane had after the Popes. And uh, we're playing a St. Patrick's Night show at the 12 Bar Club in Holloway. Uh, we might do some more around that time, and he asked me to do it. So uh, I've now got about 30 songs to learn before Thursday when we're having a rehearsal. So I'm uh, <laughs> currently uh, currently staring at the sun, I think you two put and, it, didn't they? And trying you, to, trying and to, you trying took to, time to, out to be to with it. us anyway, which is a great thing, and we really appreciate that. 30 songs... Yeah. Now, how do you go about um, actually, I've always wondered this, because there are a lot of people yep. who are out there uh, who move from band to band. you got a lot of people who are session yep. musicians, things like that. It's got to be really difficult to sit there and uh, and just absorb this music to be able to play it live or in studio or whatever the case may be so quickly. How do yeah. you do it? Um. I I I'm, I don't read music. I can read music very, very. I can work it out, but I can't sight read music. So, uh, but my ear's not too bad. And I've worked quite hard at that. You sort of work to your strengths, don't you? I think, and I'm quite good at hearing stuff and, and kind of playing along with stuff. And I I I, I mean, I, I got three CDs of stuff from Leeson, uh, literally two two and a bit, best part of three hours of music. We won't play all of it, but I've been sort of going through that playing along with it, just trying to sort of get the feel of it and working out which songs I can learn. Some, I sort of say, look, there's too much in there, we'll leave that one, and he's like, yeah, okay, but I'd like to do this one. So we kind of work our way through the material, see what we're going to play. And I say, we have actually got a rehearsal this week. I don't always have rehearsals with bands, as a lot of people don't, they just sort of turn up and play. But um, in this case, I've played some of the songs before, but as I say, it was quite a long time ago. Uh, we actually played in New York just after the 9-11 attack, so that, that dates it quite a long time back now yeah. um, and did, did a bit since then with them but uh, you know there's a lot of music to learn there and, but in other cases you might be playing songs that you already know I'm doing a show um, there's a film coming out on Joe Strummer called I Need a Dog so there's a show of that this uh, 25th of March we're doing Coco in uh, Camden and that's we're playing an hour of uh, I'm in the house band playing an hour of Clash songs well I used to play along with Clash Records when I was learning to play, and it's weird. I was playing a bit this afternoon, and it, it's it's strange how it comes back because that's the stuff you almost started playing. I put on complete control and just kind of played along with it, and I haven't played that for ages, which was a gratifying moment. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, hopefully I can do that with the rest of the material for that. So uh, we're, you know. we're doing that as, we, uh, as a house band, and we're having different singers on different songs and that, so that's going to be a really interesting night, which hopefully a real, real one to remember. Well, I wish you all the best with that. I think you'll it'll be fun. There is no doubt about it. I think yeah, I, it's definitely good. I've, I've seen some of the, uh, the uh, takes out on YouTube of you playing, and it looks like you have a great time oh. every time you're up there, so that's that's cool. That's nice of you to say that. I, you know, as I've said before on here, I, I consider myself very lucky to be able to play, and uh, I, I try and enjoy it all the time. 
Well, we're not it's we're not going thing. we're not going to go over how long you've been playing or anything like that because you're a young man and I know this and uh, we we'll just we we'll just leave it at that. All I'm going to say is it was mind. Lee that coined the phrase. It's not like digging a hole. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I did. Didn't I? We need bumper stickers that say while, that. While I was while I was digging a hole, of course. <laughs> I feel I made it tonight. <laughs> the best things are coming. <laughs> well, let's. I tell you, let's see if we can dig some holes here. Yeah, let's see if we can dig yeah. some holes here today with some of the music we're going to take a listen to. See if uh, they can dig themselves out of a hole, whichever the case might be. We have three songs, as I mentioned earlier, that we're going to take a listen to on today's broadcast. Have them right here on this file card in front of me. And we'll find out who they are after our panel hears them. So let's take a listen to the first track on the broadcast today. Here it is, everyone. This is song number one on today's Music Scene Investigation. Enjoy it, everyone. Oh, 
That is track number one on the broadcast today, and we'll find out what our panel thinks, starting over with Ian. Ian, what do you think about track number one? It's always great to have uh, a good first song to work with on and being the first to go, obviously, every, every week. And this is a good track. I mean, um, not a lot I can say that's bad about this. Great groove. Really, really good groove. Uh, drummer was spot on. Bass player was locked in. Um, you know, good vocals. Really, really good vocals. Uh, guitar sounds were great. I did find the mix overall could have had a bit more attention, could have been a little bit tighter from a mix point of view. It's a bit more compression in places, but, you know, otherwise the drums did sound great. Everything was sitting pretty well. I would have liked to touch more vocal as a preference, but we're talking just to touch, just to pull him out a little bit. A couple of things, though. I mean, this was begging. If I was producing this, this needs some backing vocals. You know, that chorus, you know, lots of layered harmonies and stuff, building up that hook, because it's strong already. But, you know, if you almost going gospel on this, personally. And Matt Hammond came in at the end, and that needed more of that throughout that song, more of that interesting sort of real Hammond sound. Uh, there were the two things. I mean, you know, the, I think it was all a bit too open, and I appreciate they're probably trying to keep it a band sound, but, you know, that Hammond added so much on towards the end and bit that I would have used that more throughout the track just to sort of give a bit more light and shade and a bit more groove and a bit more interest in the sound. But, yeah, use the hammer more, more backing vocals. That's all I asked in this track. Otherwise, everything was pretty tight. And, of course, my microphone decides to go out whenever Ian talks. I don't know why. I think he's got a mute button over there or something. It's working. My plan is working. <laughs> Apparently it is. Sorry. All right, James, your thoughts on track number one. What do you think? Oh, fantastic opening track. That was absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed that throughout. Um, I'd have to agree with Ian uh, on most of, um, well, virtually everything he said, to be quite honest. Um, the vocals could have been knocked up a little bit, and, you know, backing vocals would have helped accentuate things. Um, but I quite like it the way it is, and I think that's probably what just down to preferential uh, treatment of how the producer wants it. And um, I'd, I'd say there are a couple of mix issues that could be cleaned up. But overall, I think that this is quite a good example where there's very little to criticise, which is unusual, especially coming from me. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. And over to Lee. Lee, what do you think about track number one? Well, uh, uh, at the risk of just blithely agreeing with my partners in crime, uh, yes to, to everything they've said. I, I've actually written down here, here, keys could have been in earlier, for example. I would have brought them in about where the, solo, where the guitar solo came in, I think. But on the other hand, it was nice that it came in right at the end. It was a little little twist, which was nice. In fact, when they first came in, I wasn't sure if it was a, a, an affected guitar, because maybe that means they were a little bit low in the mix. You couldn't quite tell what they were, I don't know. Um Guitars were good generally. I like the panning on it. That kind of retro thing is quite in at the moment. It's funny. I was listening to um, Physical Graffiti by Led Zeppelin earlier. Uh, they, they just reissued it, I think. And it kind of reminded me of some of that. And you don't get much better yeah. compliments than that, do you, really? Um, sound was good. Yes, backing vocals could have come in on some of the... I mean, the harmonies on a couple of verse lines would have been would have been good stuff, I think. But these are little points in what was a, 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 a very good performance, I think. Um uh, what have I written here? Any song that rhymes uh, that has wizard rhyming with blizzard can't be all bad. I think I might just finish with that line, actually. <laughs> That's very good. I really yeah, appreciate great it. Stuff. Thank you very much. Please tell, me, please tell me the song's called The Wizard Blizzard. No. The Blizzard Wizard. It, it's not. Unfortunately not. <sighs> Let me introduce the track to everybody. Name of song number one. It's from a group called Days of Dawn, and the track is called falling in love and we appreciate their sending that track in music scene investigation if you'd like your music in front of our panel all you have to do is go to music scene investigation.com click on the submit a song at the top of the page and it's a very easy process to go through easy easy to do and we really appreciate it if you would send your track in two more tracks to listen to gentlemen let's go ahead and take a listen to track number two on today's broadcast. Here it is, everybody. This is song number two on today's MSI. Different. 
something you regretted. Uh-huh. Cause what's those words leave your whole mouth but never go with that ear? You gotta watch yourself, you gotta watch your love, you gotta watch your pain. That's track number two on the broadcast today. Let's find out what everybody thinks about it. We're going to start with James this time around. James, what do you think about uh, track number two? I rather enjoyed the mix of uh, fusion there. Quite a few different styles going on. Um, I think track one was a difficult act to follow, so there will be a few criticisms, but I'd like to start off with (laughs) the stuff I did like about it. It had a really nice hook to it, and... uh, general feel was quite good there. It made me uh, sort of reminisce about uh, bands like Shogi Otis. Uh, there's definitely something like that going on there. Um, the key keyboard line, great, but I'm not entirely sure about the, the sound of it. It sounded very sort of MIDI instrument, sort of like a plug-in sound, very sort of out of the box and nothing really too imaginative when it came to the programming. Um, as as for the mix, um, things were sort of coming in and out, and it was very, very difficult to sort of work out what the levels should have been. And I found that really distracting. Um, quite good vocal, a little bit samey here and there, a little bit boring with the repetition. But I think it's the basis of a very good track. Um, it's just a shame it sounds like a guide track. That's that's my major gripe with it. And the bass was bit too dominant in places but all in all i think it's good material nice demo and uh, i think it's certainly something that could be turned into a great track and it looks like rich's Uh, mic's gone again uh, yep my microphone is (laughs) i I really am going to just tear down the whole audio and again, ladies and gentlemen, so tear down the whole. Yeah. There we go. In and, uh, in I'll tear down the whole audio chain. We'll get it figured out. Lee, track number two. What do you think? Hey, track number two. Um, well, another very enjoyable song. I thought uh, plenty going on, which I quite liked. Um, it, James just used the word "samey," and I've got that written down here. Um, the, the disappointment for me was when the first verse happened, and then there's a secret attack repeat. And I thought, right, what's going to happen now? This could be quite a maybe something unusual happening ah it's kind of the same as the first one with a few little hand claps and whatever added and and i felt that when it was repeating the secret attack we're kind of two and a bit i think it was about two and a half minutes into the song and, and it, it had almost been a, a mirror image of the first part by then i thought they could have developed it uh, more of a chorus out of that by then then i guess a, a, a middle set very you could have gone back to the secret attack and it was that you know it, it would have been more complete as a song i felt um again it, yeah it kind of sounded a bit unfinished for that reason for me um yes some of the sounds were I, I, i'm by no means an expert in programming but some of the sounds i recognized some of the sounds from things i've done so i thought well yeah they are a little 
a little safe maybe however the, the way they were put together i thought was good there was there was a, i liked the clean vocal distorted vocal thing that was going on um again that that was it the third line where it's got distorted and the clean vocal together was nice um so lot, lot, lots of good stuff going on here again that first song was hard to follow and it was by no means uh, left 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 in the in the lurch behind it. Just uh, as I say, just need, needed needed a few tweaks here and there, really for me. But uh, but lots of good things happening there. That was uh, that was good stuff. All right, well I appreciate it, Lee. Thank you, Ian. Uh, let you talk before my mic goes out again. What do you think about track number two? Yeah, well, again, I'm all about the groove at the moment with tracks, and and this track really had a nice groove to it. Uh, you know, reminiscent of Jamiroquai and bands like that. Uh, lots of good stuff going on, as the guys have said. There is some really nice bits and pieces, and some good performances. There's a nice hook to be developed there. Uh, it did get a bit samey. Uh, I'm not going to say boring. I'm going to say samey. You know, you need to break it up a little bit for your listener, dynamically and from an arrangement point of view. Uh, you know, drop out some instruments, bring in some instruments. Um, shorten parts just you know chop it up and, and make it a bit more dynamic uh, mix wise it was all a bit flat um, again there's some nice stuff going on there I agree with the guys about that electric piano sound it did sound a bit false and it did sound a bit programmed there was no velocity in the hits it didn't sound like someone was playing it it did sound like someone had programmed it um, yeah there is a really good track here you need to take this back get it remixed uh, change some of your sounds and now don't be afraid to to mess around with that arrangement and get something that flows a bit better and builds a bit more as well because you've got a lot going on there you can strip some of that down to the, to the start and have it build into a nice big climax at the end and we all like a big climax at the end i'm hoping my mic goes out here right now so there it goes no no it's back <laughs> it's back i was hoping all right, uh, that is track number two. Let me take the opportunity to introduce that track to you so I can get as far away from Ian's statement there as I can. JoJo Keys, name of the band, Secret Attack, the name of the song. Thank you guys for sending that track into Music Scene Investigation. Just a note, this uh, coming, a week from this coming Wednesday is another MS, and a week from this coming Wednesday. When's that? That is uh, March the 11th. We have Maybe. another hit list. We're going to be taking our Song of the Week selectees from the month of February. They will be competing for our Band of the Month title in the hit list brought to you by Landar.com, <laughs> L-A-N-D-R.com, where mastering is made easy. So we certainly hope you tune in for that at 5.30 p.m., Eastern time is actually going to be 4.30 p.m. Eastern time because we're going an hour earlier because of daylight saving time because the U.K. crowd has it. it very confusing, but join us around 4.30 p.m. Eastern time and you should be good. All right? That's are we, so are we normal time? U.K. is normal time, right? Yeah, your normal time. We're going to be an hour earlier. I, yeah. Okay. So confusing and i'll try and confuse you more before the show is over trust me i'm good at this all right song number three is up next so let's take a listen to it find out what our panel thinks this is track number three on today's msi Called out my name, knew you would be in these horrible last days. Separated, set you aside just for me. Knew you would come forth with a sword without a sheet. Got me going. Demons on the prowl, wicked noise is seeping in, screaming out. Tricky, 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 your diversions. Tempting, tempting, pleasures hurting. He will liberate me from, from your, your impiety. impiety. You know what I aim. Dagger strikes, look unto me, look unto me, look unto me only. Whatever you do, whatever you say, whatever you think will be of me, spirit, true. Holy, 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 Lord will make a way. Comprehend and knowledge shall be saved. All eyes on me, hold on, don't wait. Comprehend and knowledge shall be saved. Basic 
destruction before leaving this earth is what you need. Got a Bible, open it up, I think we need to read. Light of the world, imitator of Jesus. I'm overcoming the devil, I'm making people believe us. Fear of the Lord, oh, crown of wisdom, rain down knowledge, discerning comprehension. Wealth and wages, they make my life so sweet. Flutes and harps, they make sweet melody. The most high knows all that may be known. Maybe known. Sees from the old things that ought to come. come. Discloses what is being, what is to be. Yeah, Reveals yeah. traces of all hidden things. Who will sing praises to the most high in haze? For the Lord, oh. prepare your hearts, kneel down and pray. Kanye West, I need some help up in here. Warrior of God, sit from heaven, have no fear. Prophetic revelation, salvation, anticipation. Light of the world, God's name in every nation. If you want to go to heaven, cleanse yourself and read. Directions to his house, keep right, follow me. Comprehend and not. Shall be All eyes on me, hold on, don't wait. Comprehend and knowledge shall be said. All eyes on me, hold on, don't wait. Oh, 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 oh. Run to and fro, knowledge shall increase. Never take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Psalm 82, know your purpose, can you handle it? Death and power in your tongue, keep understanding. Fears relieved, the hour I first believed. Desire to forgive, be set free. Now you're on King's Highway. Heaven bound, keep going about three more miles. Amazing grace. I sweep the sound, blind but now I see lost but now I'm found. Each creature preserved to meet a particular need. Desire to forgive, be set free. The lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb. Wisdom is the principal thing for sake. Not the law, north, north south, south, east, east west. west. Receive Holy Spirit, one, two, three, pass your test. Comprehend and knowledge shall be said. All eyes on me, hold on, don't wait. Comprehend and knowledge shall be said. All eyes on me, hold on, don't wait. There is track number three on the broadcast today. So let's go over, find out what everybody thinks about it. We're going to start with Lee. Lee, track number three to you, sir. What do you think? Well, this is this is going to be interesting. Um, I've got a couple of minutes to talk about this one, haven't I? Absolutely. Um, in addition to, yeah, okay. Well, it started very promisingly for me. It started like the little bell at the start, and, and the next second of it was fantastic. Unfortunately... I only heard a second of that track because the rest of it wouldn't play. Oh, no. So we've got two ways of doing this now. I, I could just make something up and say, hey, how's your mic going, Rich? Uh, you know, anything like that. <laughs> or I could just say, I'm afraid I didn't hear any of it. And this may actually be the longest two minutes of my life. Well, I'll tell you what you can do if, if you really want to. Now, it's entirely up to you, but there is another play yes. button for that song. If you use the long black bar to play it that right above green it. One above it. Right above it, the little green one, you yeah, can I've try that. And if it doesn't I'll work again, there, it if it doesn't work there, you can always right click on that green bar where it says song two on the on the green song two and download the song actually and listen to it that way. Oh, my goodness. So uh, we'll okay, try, I'll have another go. try and cover all bases. I'll try both of them. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna try the, the, the backward guitar technique of swearing at it, but I thought you might be able to hear me, so I didn't do that. In case cuff, the cuff, heard. cuff. Um, so uh, I'm afraid, I, I, as I say, it started splendidly, and then kind of nosedived, really. But um, as indeed am I at the moment. So uh, I'm afraid I, 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 I haven't got much to say. I, I, I'll have another go at playing it while you're all talking, if you like. Yeah, if you'd like yeah, to, give that's, that shot. That's, that's fine. And uh, well, all right, so I'll see you all in a. Few minutes. All off, right, go ahead. There for you. Sorry. Right. Do that, and we'll toss it over to Ian and find out what he thinks of track number three. Ian. Okay, another notable good effort here. Um, really nice stuff going on. Lots of nice production. Very clean mix. Very tight rapping. Um, liked her voice and liked what she was doing with it as well. Uh, but I don't know. It kind of didn't go anywhere for me. Uh, you kind of got to the good bit. 
and then it just stayed there and didn't sort of get better or advance too much for my liking. As I said, there's something really good going on here. But after a while, I just found my mind wandering and, and not listening to the track and going off, and um, it just couldn't keep my attention. So something needs to be done. Um, I liked the sort of little sung bits in there. It gave it sort of a hook, but not strong enough that they developed the hook on this, get it stronger. And the bass line, it was very monotonic. Monotonic, is that a word? It was, it was monotonous. Um, it was that sort of one deep subby note that was just sort of almost repetitive with a few bends and bits and pieces in there, but it didn't really go anywhere. I, I don't know, you know, this isn't really my genre. Who am I to speak? But I want to hear something with a bit more movement and a bit more groove. The drums were really grooving. The drums were moving really nicely, and I, I loved the beats that were being used. It gave the, the, a nice rhythmic feel to the track. But I wanted the bass to be doing more with that, uh, rather than just going dum ba dum 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 ba dum dum uh, as it sort of pretty much did throughout the whole track. That was my one letdown, really. Again, I know, you know, this sort of stuff, this sort of music relies on that sort of beat and that drive and that groove in the, in the rhythms to sort of make it all work. So, yeah, that for me wasn't quite gelling. But, I mean, as I said, notable, noble effort on, on the vocals. She's got a really great voice um, and she raps really nicely and tightly as well. Everything was on board you could hear everything she was saying uh so her punctuation was good uh but it, she came across with a bit of attitude as well and and yeah it just was tight so develop the hook give it some movement in that bass develop that groove a bit more and i think you've got a much better track um you know but build them choruses make them a bit more different make it a bit more dynamic but real good foundations all right, Ian, I appreciate it. Thank you. And James, uh, what are your thoughts on track number three? I think this is another good example of where you have got all the right ideas, but they're not necessarily executed in the right way. Um, to me, again, this sounded a bit more like a sort of work in progress. And I don't mean that to come across as harsh because I liked aspects of it. Um, for me, it wasn't my genre, so it probably is a little bit biased for me to sort of be a bit critical um but to be fair i thought the rapping was good decent beats good um good vocals from the female singer and um i agree with Ian. it was difficult to keep interested but the beats that kept me going along and the thing that sort of captivated me most was the sort of religious uh, uh tones in the uh, in the lyrical matter so i didn't really realize Early, early on until much later in, in the track that they were, they were talking about. Well, I think they were talking about religion. I can't really remember too well now. But at least there were, at the there time were I was listening to yeah. it, there were some kind of reference. So that, that made it slightly interesting for me. Not that I'm overly religious or anything. Um, but, um, like the second track, um, there were problems with the keyboard sound. I thought it was a bit too basic and out of the out of the box and sounded a little bit too generic for my liking but maybe that's what they wanted to achieve i think that if they'd used a real instrument it would have sounded a lot better if they just had a standard keyboard but there we go that's all potential suggestions that hopefully they'll take on board and they won't be too offended all right so hopefully by, by this time uh, lee will be finished with the track all right, well, let's go back to Lee and find out if he had any luck with it. Lee, any luck? Oh, let me uh, unmute him. In the, words of, uh, in the words of Albert King, if it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Um, I couldn't even get the first second to play now. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this personally. <laughs> but I will reiterate, the first second of it, you know, it's it's a bit like Pete and Dud when he says, you know, I, I like your left leg. You've got I've got nothing against your left leg. Unfortunately, neither of you. I like the first second, but other than that, I can't really comment on it. Other than to, other than to heartily agree with the boys on every level. All right. I'm going to go and sit on a drawing pin now to try and <laughs> to, to, to suffer for a while longer. I think I don't know. All right, well, let me introduce the track to everybody. I know our audience heard it as well, and if you have any thoughts on it, put them in the chat room. Let Lee take a look at what yeah, you have tell, to say about it. Yeah, tell me about, about them. Exactly. You never know. It can't hurt anything, that's for sure. So the song number... Come on. Let, 
Song... Let's give him a chance. Put put your thoughts over in the chat room for song three, and we'll read them out to Lee, and we, we can he can add that towards his decision. All right. That, again, is song number one I'm showing you there, so pay no attention to that. And uh, let's, let's see what everybody says. Uh, Patty says she lost the stream again. The radio won't load. She only heard part of the first song. She'll catch us all later on the replay. Right. See ya. See ya, Patty. Sorry about that. Love you, Patty. It's one of those days for everybody. And th that video stream has been going up and down. I have to say that. Uh, there were a lot of thoughts about this on, uh, in the chat room. And uh, the guys are pretty much uh, lined up saying that their thoughts are it's between song one and two. Uh, don't know if the, it looks to me like they've uh, counted three out for some reason. Okay, so. there we go. That's a valid, valid point. Yeah. It's certainly between songs one and two for me, you know, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> very true. Just let me, let me. Great. <laughs> yeah, let me introduce. Uh, <laughs> Let me introduce track number three to everybody before we head on. Track number three is called Comprehending Knowledge, and that is by Miss Tish. And we appreciate her and her group sending that track into Music Scene Investigation. Thanks a lot. And uh, now I'm going to turn it over to our panel, who's going to select a song of the week, which will go on for our hit list in June. No, April. March, April. I don't know where I came up with March, June, but you you get where I'm going with this. It's going to compete in our next hit list. So, uh, gentlemen, uh, what do you think about it? As I encourage everybody to go and file their witness statements at musicsceneinvestigation.com slash witness. And I'm going to turn it over to you, gentlemen, now. So uh, let me hear what your thoughts are for the Song of the Week selection. Just out of interest, was that third track a bit of reverse swearing again? What was Miss Tish? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Do it backwards. No, Tell fun. me what it sounds like. Uh, it might not be safe. Anyway, don't <laughs> do that. Um, would <laughs> you like me to kick off? Yeah, go, on, can, go ahead. Well, don't, don't kick yeah. off. Just give us your opinion. <laughs> um, I'm well known to kick off live on air, but in this instance, I think it's very easy, and it's track number one by far. Any particular reasons? Uh, it just was a particularly good all-rounder. I think no matter what that was faced up against, any uh, potential opposition would have had difficulty beating it. It was a very good track all-round. found it very hard to find criticism, and uh, track two was very close behind it. All right. Well, that's fair enough. Uh, just in the interest of full disclosure, Pinky out in the chat room is saying the first 32 bars of the hip hop poetry was awesome. Great sim, uh, sil syllabic rhythms. I can't even say that, but great syllabic <laughs> rhythms. And after that, it was a bit too long. So hopefully that'll give everybody a little bit more information about that as I throw it over to Lee and Ian. Lee, my well, esteemed colleague, I can do mine fairly quickly, can't I? Um, leaving aside the fact that I, I, I'll buy Miss Tish a drink if ever I, I, I encounter her, I'm going to go for song one. Um, the Wizards of Blizzard have, uh, have won it, haven't they? Uh, song two, loads of ideas, loads of good stuff going on, but one just sounds more finished, more together, great sounds on it. Um, Ian said the word groove a lot, so I'm not going to say it, but it was definitely... It definitely exhibited that as well. So it's song number one, isn't it? All right. Mm. And Ian? Yeah. Okay. Uh, three great tracks this week. Um, in my opinion, they all need a little something. But, you know, when you do this show, if you're not remembering song number one by the end of the show, it's not the song of the week, if that makes sense. Um, and quite often you find it happens. You listen to song number one, then you move on to the next and the next, and you don't really remember what song number was one was by the time you finished. This one it sticks out every time. Uh, the other two tracks are good. They need development. They need some mixed changes. But song number one, as much as I'd like to see some changes in in it, it is there already um, in their own way and how they like to see it. So yeah, I'm going to go with the guys' song number one. And uh, please, that's on the condition. 
that they write us a song called the Blizzard Wizard. <laughs> or at right. least rename that one. Either way, it's it'll blizzard, be. Yeah. All right. So there you have it. A unanimous decision by our panel. Days of Dawn, their song Falling in Love, which they say should be Wizard Blizzard, but we'll leave it to the band to decide that. And uh, they're our song of the week this week on Music Scene Investigation. Lee, I apologize for the issues you had on track number three, but uh, it's great to have you back again with us. Oh, well, thank you. It's, been, it's good fun. I mean, aside from it taking a year off my life, it's been a really enjoyable show. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. Of course, we want to... No, we want to make sure that I everybody... Because I'm not much of a technical person. I always think it's my fault, but I just couldn't get it to work. I don't know. I'm sorry about that. No, it's, it's sorry, definitely, definitely not your fault. If anybody's fault uh, or is to blame, it would be me for setting up the website. So I'll take the blame on that. Any hate mail or anything like that, send it to me. You already have my email address. If you don't, you can listen to some of the past episodes where I gave it out. It's all good fun. Hang all about, right. you normally give them mine. Yeah, that's that's what I usually do. Yeah. Yeah, so get over it. Just don't read them well, if you no, don't well, like them. Well, well done for taking responsibility. That's all right. That's what I do. I got two well dones today. What can you say? All right, very cool. Don't forget, <laughs> on the 8th of March through the 29th, actually up until the 29th, we're going to be starting in the U.S. an hour early, daylight saving time, and everybody but Britain is up to speed, or at least most everybody is. So we'll wait on them and play along and make them feel good and start it's not an hour that, it's earlier. Not that we'll, it's not that we'll be up to speed. It's just that you yanks are premature. Yeah, that's not going to fly. That's okay, though. <laughs> All right. So uh, thanks to everybody for being here, and congratulations to our Song of the Week winners, Days of Dawn, which we're going to play out with. So uh, Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time right here on Music Scene Investigation. Thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
something.